Hey cousins, I'm here today with another tutorial and this is on my bubble ponytail. I'm starting out with a twist out. I guess it's about two or three days old and I did kind of finger through it and detangled it a little bit. I already have a side part and at this point I am just adding some lot of body uh, mousse to just kind of um, make it smoother and so to be able to lay down once I brush it but how are you guys doing we're in a snowstorm here so I was bored I'm like let me just try to do something different today um, I've been working from home and I was done with work and I said you know let me just see if I can get a ponytail or something because this is just this is dreary and cold so I wanted to try something different so yeah here we go so right now I'm just smoothing my hair down with the brush and you guys I tell you when um, I say you have to hold that part that you smooth down because once you let it go it's just gonna bush right back out so I'm holding on for dear life <laughs> don't let it go don't let it go whatever you do you better hold on to it so now I'm brushing the other side and I'm gonna try to grab yeah grab that side of hair and hold it really tight don't let it go whatever you do don't let it go add a little bit more mousse see what happens see look okay i just take it take it and put it right back up down the top it's fine it's okay it's okay yeah just go ahead and smooth it down and i'm gonna just hold it tight and smooth and tighten and smooth and brush until i can get it slick the way i want it yeah, see there a piece that came down. You gotta hold it and then smooth it. So I'm gonna smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Brush it. Do you guys have power if you're in a snowstorm? We did lose power for a little bit, but it came back on. I was so happy because it is super cold outside. It's super snowy and it's drizzly. Now I have two uh, rubber band holders, a uh, ponytail holders that I'm going to use. And definitely these do not have any metal. They're all the way elastic and I have to use two. Um, I have had two even break at one time. So you have to do what's best for your hair but yeah for me I used to and I'm holding on for dear life again while I'm pulling this hair through but yeah I, I pray for you guys if you don't have electricity or heat because it is cold and just try to wear as uh, many layers as you can if you can have a scarf a hat gloves and socks that will keep you warm if you just keep those extremities warm that will keep you warm a hat gloves a scarf and socks you'll be good so if you can just remember to keep that on if you're in a situation where you don't have heat okay so I basically got it in this ponytail so I'm just going to kind of finger detangle it at this point. Just loosen up um, some of these curls because I, I did kind of finger through it, but I didn't comb it. I'm just kind of just going through it a little bit um, and loosening everything up. So at this point, I'm going to separate one little piece and I'll use this to wrap around the base of the ponytail. So yeah, I'm gonna start wrapping around the base. Okay, and then I'll just take a bobby pin and I'll pin that under. So that's the start. My hair is shedding, you guys. Every time I look up, I'm shedding, shedding, shedding. 
but uh, at this point I start smoothing the ponytail down and I'll grab a little small plastic rubber band the little ones and I go down a section to where I want to make a bubble and I just go around one time now at this point I try to pull out the bubble to kind of you know fluff it up just a bit like that and then I'll take another small section of hair and I'll go around the rubber band just to hide it and I just tuck that hair underneath the rubber band just like that so now we can start the second bubble I'll just smooth it down and go around the hair one time and then you fluff out the bubble you can make these big or small as you want um, I'm not trying to make a great big one because the, obviously the bigger your bubble is the less the, the shorter your ponytail will be so you can make it much bigger and it will just shorten the length of your ponytail which is fine too and I'll just wrap that hair around and just tuck it underneath the rubber band now you can go down as far as you want I'm gonna add at least one more probably two more I think I'll add two more one more that one and then one last one and fluff it and it came down so I didn't tuck it too well so I have to redo that Alright, so now I'm going to take my Care Care Itch Control. I love Care Care products. I don't know if you guys um, ever tried their shampoos, conditioners. They have very good products, especially for color treated hair. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but um, it's, it's very good and it's worth it. So I'm going to just take this Edge, edge Control and just lay it around my edges just to smooth. I'm, I don't do anything crazy. Sometimes I, I'm in a more of a move where I wanted all the swoops in the curls but with this style I just wanted to keep it simple so I'm just adding a little bit and I'll just uh, brush it till it's smooth now if you're with your hair if you have issues with it wanting to puff up what you can do is use a scarf and tie it down 
I usually do the same thing just for this video purpose I did not do that but trust me if you tie it down um, once you add that mousse and this um, edge edge tamer it will have your hair silky smooth and shiny just tie it down for a little bit and um, you'll be good to go and it'll just lay down much smoother but this is my bubble ponytail you guys I think it's so cute I love this style you can do a top butt ponytail you can do a side ponytail I was debating on which one to try but um this was the easiest for me for today so this is the one I decided to do but there's so many things you can do even if you want to add hair if you want a longer ponytail you can do that also so that's the end I appreciate you guys stopping by my little uh, corner here and sitting with me for a bit I hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a like it helps me so much a comment it helps me so much also and I hope I'll see you soon.